You got your dead cat going. Okay, no, so we're ready right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like, we've been ready. We've been... Oh, we've, we've been doing it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, shucks. All right, guys. Workout for Wednesday, uh, April 29th. So, different option for the first piece, okay? We have, for folks that have a barbell at home that want to play with that, all right? We're going to give every two minutes, so it's six sets, hang power clean. So, we deadlift anywhere from above the knee, hit our hang power clean, right? We'll come back to the floor for a power clean. Then we'll go into a hang squat clean, okay? Anytime we just say hang clean, it's assumed we're going to squat, all right? We're again anywhere above the knee, passing through a full squat, and then we'll come back to the floor, boom, into our full squat clean. So it's hang power, full power, hang clean, full clean. I'd say try to play around with keeping your hands on the barbell throughout, okay? Um, if you want to reset before that last feed, I guess you can, but if you want to think about this as being like, all right, how much weight can I move here without taking my hands off the bar? Might be a nice challenge. Starting at about 60% of our max clean or clean and jerk, whichever one you prefer to use and building off that for the six sets. I was about to say fitness. <laughs> Other side of things, all right, or when we say minimal equipment, all right, um, or really fitness, right, is we're going to do every two minutes we're going to alternate between two stations. So we have for one two minute interval, I have two exercises for the next two minute interval, I have two others. So the first one is going to be a good morning for eight to 12. So if I have my kettlebell or dumbbell up here, I hinge on back, all right, and I come on back up. We're not prescribing a tempo onto this, but we always want to think about controlling that lowering. Obviously, I don't want to just crash down into the bottom, but just think as long as you take a little bit longer to go down than you do to come up, we're good. We could also put an implement onto our back. We could also do this as a Romanian deadlift if we prefer, that's cool too, right? Then we're gonna go into push-ups for 10 to 15 reps, depending on where we're at in terms of strength and volume there, right? We can do regular push-ups from the floor. We can do them off of a bench or box. If I'm really good at push-ups, maybe I try to elevate my feet or we do that uneven push-up that we worked on last week. So that'll be, take me, you know, hopefully about a little over a minute or so to do, and then I'll have some rest before I go to station two. We're gonna do a reverse plank for 30 to 40 seconds. So we squeeze our shoulder blades back, squeeze our butt, try to stay in a nice flat plank position. We've been doing this a lot. And then we'll go into a half Turkish getup for two to three, or for three each side. So I'll just be here again, holding, holding, holding. I'll pop on down, get my implement, and I'll come on up to just raise the hip up, right? Yeah, just nice, smooth, and controlled. I'll do three on each one side, three on the other, and then on the next two minute intervals, I'm back on the other side, all right? If you find that this is taking you almost the entire two minute interval, we can cut back the plank a little bit or cut down the reps there, however we need to. So that'll be three sets of each of those back and forth for it. Then we're going to part B. So now we're going every three minutes, all right? It's gonna be 20 reverse lunges. Again, we're not putting a tempo on this, so the more quickly we do this, the more rest we're gonna get. We're saying in terms of loading this, a lot of options. We can go goblet for whatever we're holding, right? If we have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, if what we have is maybe lighter, or if we want to play around with, we go offset. So maybe holding that, got that dumbbell or kettlebell on one side, maybe I'll do 10 of my reverse lunges. I'm just doing these here, but my full reverse lunge would be here. Right? Maybe I'll do 10 like that and then switch. And then we'll go right into a 30 second side plank each side. The intention here, again, so if I'm doing 30 seconds of side plank, that's a minute. This should be hopefully less than a minute or a minute less, so I get at least a minute of rest before I go back into that next set. We're doing that four times, all right? Then, finally, every four minutes for 12 minutes, it'll be three sets. We're gonna work for 45 seconds at a station, take a 15 second break as we transition, 45 seconds next station, 15 second break, 45 seconds the last station, and then there'll be 75 seconds after that. Strict handstand push-ups for as many reps as you can do in 45 seconds. If we don't have strict handstand push-ups, but we do have maybe the strength to do a wall climb, we could do that, right? A wall walk up the, up the wall. Perhaps we do these piked off of a box. We showed that in a prior video of how you guys can do that, all right? Um, other options might be an L-seated dumbbell press if we have some light dumbbells or even a barbell for it, perhaps, right? We're seated and we're pressing, but as many reps we can do in 45 seconds. Then it's 45 seconds of air squats, you guys know air squats, all right? And then 45 seconds of burpees, which you guys also know, all right? Um, it'll be three times through that. So, a lot of work to be done. 
but the focus here is on full body resistance training, right? So we're getting a lot of different movement patterns, a lot of different muscles firing, right? We'll be running classes at 7 a.m. and 4 p.m., right? But if you guys have anything you need help with, you're doing this on your own, warm up work, anything like that, or adjustments, let us know. Enjoy your workout. We'll see you soon. Later.